Hello everyone, I'm Krishna and I'm going to show how to configure heartbeat intervals for Informatica nodes. Uh, the agenda is we will look at the two heartbeat interval properties, master db refresh interval and info.master update time interval. How to configure these properties, how to verify and ensure if these properties have been set appropriately and also to check the recommendations for these values. Uh, let's take a look at what master db refresh interval is. So uh, the master gateway node in an in an Informatica domain updates the domain database, a specific table named ISP master election uh, every a few seconds. And this periodicity is uh, by default is eight seconds and it's configurable through master db refresh interval. The infra.master update time interval is uh, governs the periodicity of heartbeat messages from all the non-master gateway nodes to the to the master gateway node and the default value is set to 15 seconds by default let's take a look at how to configure master db refresh interval so this property is a domain level custom property uh, which can be set from admin console the value that you need to specify is in is in the unit of seconds and once you set this property you need to restart the complete domain so that all the nodes start picking up the newly updated values let's take a look at uh, admin console uh, where we can set this property so uh, here i have logged into an admin console uh, if you if you click on the domain or the domain, uh, domain navigator and go to properties you have the custom properties for the domain at the end of the pane and this is where you specify master db refresh interval and the corresponding value in this case i have set it to 25 seconds <coughs> as i said before once we set these values you need to restart the domain the comp all the nodes in the domain so that uh, uh, all the nodes will start reflecting the newly modified values nevertheless you might want to verify after restarting if it has indeed picked up the new values this can be done by checking the logs there's a specific node.log file under info home tomcat logs which will contain which will contain the actual value that's that is being used you need to search for the message code dom underscore one zero one four two here i have an example of my domain where i have i grep for this message code within the node.log and I can see that the value that I had set in the admin console as 25 seconds has been indeed picked up. By default, you might see that uh, as the row update interval time is set to 8,000 milliseconds. And now because it's modified, it shows as 25,000. Verifying this helps us make sure that uh, there is no typo or any configuration errors when when we are actually setting this master db refresh interval. Let's take a look how to configure infra.master update time interval. As I mentioned, this is the heartbeat uh, message periodicity from all the non-master nodes to the master gateway node. This is configurable as a command line property for the node process. And it's specified as dash d infra.master update time interval equal to the actual interval in milliseconds. Please note that this is different from master db reference interval, which is specified in seconds. and the mass update time interval is specified in milliseconds also all the nodes in the domain has to be updated with the same value it doesn't it's it's if you it's incorrect to specify increase this value or uh, configure it only in a s s subset of nodes in the domain because there will be an inconsistency in the heartbeat messages that has to go through that has to go through be between the nodes and uh, another point to note is setting this property is different from on windows environment and all other non windows environment on a linux or a unix environment you can set the environment variable infra java opts to uh, this corresponding value dash d infra dot master determined equal to seconds like i specified here as in the ksh or a bash shell setting this actually uh, makes sure that when you start the node uh, this environment variable will be picked up and then on the latest and the updated value will be chosen by the node 
you can you can you might want to update this inman variable in your dot profile so that every time you restart the node you don't have to manually set this property on windows because the node runs as a windows service you need to update this in a in a specific registry key on windows so that the newer value will get picked up so this key is basically uh, in registry it's h key local machine system current control set services and the informatica service name which would be typically informatica services and the version number and then parameters and java options let's take a look in uh, in a in a sample windows registry here i have a windows installation of informatica uh, i have installed the windows informatica node as a infa1204 service in your setups you might find informatica services 950 or 910 or the corresponding version whichever you have it installed under this service you may you should you would find a parameters key and there will be a java options properties in this property we need to add the dash d info dot master update time interval equal to the the value in milliseconds followed by double quotes you might have found the double quotes in the end here we just need to insert this property within the double quotes all right so once you have set this property how to verify if the newly modified property has been picked up again it's the same node.log file we need to look for a message code that's that's that goes like dom underscore one zero one eight six here is an example where i look for this message and it shows that the modified value is is 30000 milliseconds uh, compared to 15000 milliseconds uh, the, for the default values now let's look at the recommendations for uh, uh, setting these values any time when you increase master db refresh interval or infa dot master update time interval you need to make sure that this below equation or a constraint has to be met four times master db refresh interval plus 55 should always be less than six times infra dot master update time interval this is to ensure that whenever there is a heartbeat failure or a database update failure the the node get back into the domain without affecting the other services so this equation has to be maintained and you might also want to note that at any time when you increase these heartbeat intervals uh, you would probably get a, a you would get a better tolerance of heartbeat failures so in in case you have a network outage or some kind of outage for 30 seconds by increasing these intervals you will have more tolerance for such intermittent failures but at the same time when you increase these timeouts you are all you would also see a delay in failover when it comes to the when when the node really goes down and it has to fail over to another node so that's all I have here. Uh, thanks for listening to this video. We would love to hear back from you. Please feel free to post your questions or any feedback on this video. Thank you.